At this point, we were farther away from all the waterfalls and getting deeper and deeper into the forest. And there are hardly any words to describe the quiet of the forest and the noise of those insects. It's just heavenly. There are no other words to describe what I was feeling other than that song called In A Week by Hosier. And I think I was emulating my best Hosier energy because I kept touching all the moss covered trees and just taking in that beautiful mist covered forest. And before we knew it, we were already at the shield hut. This is how I want my Jhopri in the forest to look like. Architectural Digest, are you listening? Now, I'm not trying to be biased towards all the other parts of the trick, but I have to give it to Shield for having the most amazing views in that entire trek because one second it's looking like this and the other second it's looking like that. The weather kept changing in seconds. One time it's misty, then it's raining, and then you have sunlight, and it's just so much happening all together all at once. And what's even insane that on one side you would find that it's raining, on the other side you will see sunlight. And that entire contrast of what's going on made me really question my reality at that moment. It is hands down the most beautiful sunset I've ever witnessed, and if I could bottle up a memory, this would be one of them. I wish I can relive that, seriously. And as the day came to a close, I sat down to have some food. Now, I gotta give you a food tour because the amount of food I had on this trip was ungodly. And I'm saying that as an atheist, okay? The amount of food I had made me reach out to God and pray for my stomach. I don't know what made Basanji think that he was on a trek with she help but he was just feeding me food. I was having supper, like... Do I look like an older English gentleman who likes supper? But nonetheless, I was having supper and I was, I, was, I was eating just so much food, it was ridiculous. I felt like a spoiled brat for once in my life. And now it's time to retire for the night, but not before listening to Basanji talk about how I can do anything at all. Time looks like that, right? You can do it, but the rest of it is just one friend. One friend came to me and told me to get rid of it. I'm not gonna lie, like I can get used to this. It's really nice. Okay, this is probably nothing, but I was trying to fall asleep and that's where my head was. Like I mean the head was over here. But something was right over there. I just fucking slapped it right there. And I don't know if it's still there or not, but hey. We'll see. Good morning. As you can see, it has snowed quite a lot on those mountains over there. And I think the snow leopards are gonna have a field day. So this is the day of the summit and I just have some quick breakfast and then we are on our way. 
It rained all night last night and the rain just doesn't seem to stop. I'm kind of hoping that eventually there will be one break where we can see a little glimpse of the sun. Not to be too hopeful but we'll see about that. It's definitely making the trekking route a little bit more difficult with the constant rain but I think I can manage or persevere through this. And Loki, wet leaves. <sighs> Difficult to walk on. I mean, first you have to give it to the rocks. They are really bringing in the A game. They're the best to get a good grip. Whether you're like climbing up or climbing down, rocks are your best friends. Second is um, plants. Like walking on plants gives you better grip. But you just gotta make sure it's not those brown drenched wet ass dead leaves because those will those are your acquaintance right like you can trust them but not too much all right don't tell them your deep dark secrets and then after that we have the enemy which is quite frankly the mud the mud road when it's wet from the rain it's it's literally a it's literally a slipping slide like you're gonna eat shit. So this is the checkpoint. There is a small cube in here for travelers so they can relax if they want to. But we're gonna just uh, refill our water and then we're gonna go up, go up and make the summit. The summit. <laughs> Very beautiful out here. Like, look at this rock. I mean, my new rock obsession is thriving in this place because you've got rocks, you've got moss covered rocks, which is even better. So, I'm just living my best life. I'm literally living my best life, and I can't stop looking over there because the mountain view is amazing. Let me show you. Let me show you. That's why. I think it's fine to grab these plants by the neck when I feel like I'm gonna fall the fuck down. Because the tea is always and forever. I hope you can hear the crunch as I'm stepping on these plants. It's so ruthless. Ah. Ah. But not as ruthless as these plants because, dude, all of these have fucking spikes, okay? Like, I can't tell you. Just how many times I've gotten spiked. The worst part is these are like six to seven feet tall, okay? And I have to walk in between them where there's no way. Like these plants have like overtaken the whole trail. So you have to cut them down uh, or like shift them so you can m move across. And even then, like, it's not like they won't whip across your face. And they have spikes. Did I mention that? So yeah, it is. These plants are whipping me from head to toe. And that's lovely. That's what I signed up for. Oh my god, it's like being in the middle of a rainforest. You having a good day? Hello. It's nice to meet you. I can't see you though, babe. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you later, okay? I gotta go climb the mountain. Bye bye. <laughs> at the top and this is the view I keep
came all the way from down there then we got to the meadow so this is the meadow which is beautiful and then just a little bit of ways up and that's the top hell yeah let's go let's do this I won't lie today was very challenging <sighs> but I know it's gonna be worth it everyone says that but like dude if you oh for fuck's sake this is okay yeah if you come all the way from down there to all, all the way over here I mean there's no way you're gonna feel fucking proud of yourself and I do feel proud of myself right now but Sanji's already there I guess there's a shrine so yeah I gotta cross this let's go there we are Oi. <laughs> घुमतरा पाता ये पात्र पराबले में तो अच्छा पाता कुंद्री किन्होंनी ये जो है अच्छा ये पाता कुंद्री है ये मुन्होंनी है ये है अभी पूरा ये इधर अपना कोबरी ये ये कोबरी टॉप अच्छा इनके बीच में जो है ये टॉप आया परे में अच्छा ये जो तलाव ये आस कुंडे As beautiful as the peak was, it was also starting to get really cold, so it was time to make our way down through the beautiful meadows. And I spent another beautiful evening at the Shilt Hut with a beautiful sunset, and this time it was a red sunset, so I was very excited to witness that. तो आज हमारी हाइक का लास्ट डे है और बसंत जी आप बताइए आप पहली बार शालनी सिंह गाइड के साथ रकुंडी टॉप गए कैसा रहा आपका एक्सपीरियंस बहुत अच्छा आपको मजे आए मजे आ गए मजे आ गए मजे ओके आप वापस जाना चाहोगे शालनी सिंह गाइड के साथ पक्का पक्का जाना है वापसी We made our way down and the trek was conquered. Okay, all right. Let's sum up this whole trek. It's been wonderful. It's been very peaceful. And although people would say that you know you should come here in April and March because that's when the like best time to be here is, I still feel like this was perfect because right now there's nobody else here. It's like my own personal experience that I got to have. I'm the only person here, and yeah, like. 
there is no one else. It's so quiet. No other hikers on the way. And I think that's what I like the most. Because Basanji did tell me that during April and March, when everyone is here, like everyone who's interested to hike, um, they often have to like find where to set up the tent because all the spots are already taken. But here, like I was the only one, so I got all the best, all the best experiences really. I think I'm gonna be one of those people who are gonna constantly bring up this trip. Um, into every conversation, like somebody would offer me water, and I would be like, "Oh, this tastes like the water I had while I was trekking GHNP." <laughs> this whole trip was a core memory. Not a single part of it I won't remember. I mean, we'll see about that. I have shitty memory, but I feel like I will remember most of it. Yeah, the only thing that's been on my mind is like whenever I'm feeling down or stressed. This is the trip that I'm gonna look back at and be like, hey, just take your mind here. Just focus on the memories of this place and act like you're still there. The reason why I gravitate towards product and food photography is that all the elements are in your control. You can control every single thing, like where the light is hitting, the background, everything is like in your control. And I am a very much, uh, a control freak in that regard I want to be able to control the elements um, but in landscape photography or, or like nature photography you the, nothing is in your control like there's a tree this uh, dead tree over there and it's like ruining the most epic shot but I can't fucking cut down that tree right like it it's gonna stay there like you have to find another angle you have to like jump around in places and see what you can do and I mean, photography in general is a game of patience, but nature photography really takes it to another level because I've been waiting for that sun to rise since 6 a.m. It's almost 8 now, and that sun is just like dipping in, dipping out, and there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait and see if the sun will rise or not. So. It's been good and it's been the experience of a lifetime. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself for being able to do this. I think the sun is out. Ah, oh, the sun is out, finally. I've been waiting for this. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and coming along this hike with me. If you're somebody who hasn't done a hike but is still interested, I would definitely say go for it. Because I did not have any experience doing something like this. This is my first three day hike and I fucking crushed it so I think you can too. Oh damn, the sunlight. Mm. Beautiful. The skin looks like shit though. I really need a shower. But this is also nice. Let me show you the view.